Hi everyone, it's Liv and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be making my own McDonald's, seeing as it's been closed for so long now and I miss it frankly. It's kind of known that I am not the best chef, so not only is this going to be a challenge to make it taste like McDonald's, it's also going to be a challenge to even cook it. So my go-to McDonald's order would be a double cheeseburger and chips. So that is what I'm gonna be attempting to make today. So I have all the ingredients here and I'm running through them as we go along. And yeah, let's hope that it works out. So I think I'm gonna prep the fries first because these are going in the oven and then I'll do the burgers in the pan. So I need to preheat the oven to 200 for the chips. So I'll put the oven on. And I think I might start to shape the burgers because I couldn't find natural burgers so I've just got beef mints and I'm gonna have to put my hands in it and make them myself, which is disgusting, but I couldn't find any actual burgers, so let's get on to that. Right, so I've opened the beef mince and I think I'm just gonna like shape it to how big I remember the McDonald's ones to be. I don't know like the exact weight I need to do it, so I'm just gonna bring you here so you can like see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like squashing it together. <laughs> uh, this is so great, squash it like that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'd say so, that one's fine. Okay, so let's just squash. This is disgusting. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Cool. So when I looked online at the recipe, well, when I looked online at McDonald's website to see like the ingredients, it said in the burgers, there's salt and there's garlic. I think it said garlic, so I'm just gonna put some garlic granules on there anyway. Wrap that in a bit. The burgers are ready for when they need to go in. And now I'm gonna make, so for the fries, I have to make this like liquid and soak the chips in there, which I think is very strange, but if that's what's gonna give it the McDonald's flavor, then you gotta do what you gotta do. So for the fries, like the broth that I'm making, I need to put soya milk, which I don't have. So I think I'm gonna use coconut milk. So I need cold water soya milk, vegetable oil, and a beef stock cube. I don't really know how much water I need. So I need 50 ml of milk. I don't, I don't know how much water to put in, so I hope this works. And then it's two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Two. Yeah, and then I need to put a beef stock cube in, which I don't understand, because I thought beef stock cubes only go down when they're hot. Then. I don't really know how it's gonna work. Got a cube, it's in there, but I don't understand how it's supposed to like go down because, uh, that name just went on me. It's one of the strange things I've ever done. I have a feeling I could have put too much water in. So this is how it's currently looking. The thing is like dissolving. It looks like gravy and it smells a bit like gravy thing. Let's just keep on um, mixing. You know, if you're enjoying the video so far, feel free to subscribe right now, give it a like, you know. Um, I hate cooking, so I'm just doing this for you guys really. So for reference, I'm just using like Aldi's fries. I thought I'd take you back over here just so you can see properly what I'm doing. It basically says just to like coat them in the thing. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. oh my god, my hands. This is gross. I'm just gonna put them on the baking tray. They're so slimy. Okay, and I'm just gonna drizzle a bit, you know? But now I'm gonna put them in the oven for 15 minutes. So I feel like my eyes are just abnormally sensitive to onions. So first I do that bit, and then I'm gonna, oh see, this is so strong. I know, I take off the onion. You know you can like customize your McDonald's top order. I normally take off the onion, but that's a bit boring if I just do the cheese. We will live with the onion too. So I've just done half an onion and that is there ready. So we'll put that to the side as well. I've just got some burger buns. I thought these are pretty much 
what the McDonald's ones are like. So we'll stick with that. I didn't put baking powder in the chips. Do you think that'll make a difference? I'm hoping that the baking powder wasn't an important step. For the burger, I believe that it's the bun, the burger, the cheese, the burger, the cheese, the onion, I believe. And then I think the ketchup goes on the top bun. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this to heat up a little bit. Got my burgers ready. I've got my bun here to toast a little bit. I'll just put it in now for a bit. I'm actually pretty impressed with how my burgers look. Obviously, I haven't cooked them yet, but so far, I think it's good. My eyes are burning from the onion. Can you see them? They're gonna water. <laughs> Sorry, but if this works, I am gonna be having a McDonald's most days. Well, I'm not um deep frying, is that what it's called? I'm not like fry the fries. I don't think it's gonna be unhealthy as McDonald's ones normally are. So it is acceptable to have this every day. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. I'm gonna try put one in now. It says to do it for like two minutes each side. So, cool. We love a chef. See, everyone that thinks I'm bad at cooking, look at me now, look at me now. I could work at McDonald's. McDonald's, if you see this, Hit me up. I'm gonna press it down a bit so it might be a bit thick. Isn't it mad that McDonald's is shut down? I wonder if it's shut down in America. If any of you are from anywhere but England, you might be. Tell me if McDonald's is open for you. I'm interested. File now. I'm gonna flip it. Wow. And then after this, at the end, it says to microwave it 15 seconds. Maybe to melt the cheese. Mmm, I'm so glad. I've never had a Big Mac, so I feel like that would be an interesting one to make. So you have the sauce, don't you? I've never had it, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have anything to compare it to. I feel like I've just made them quite thick. Donald's burgers are really thin. Slight problem: the chips are like stuck to the bottom. I'm sure it will be fine. Maybe. Mm -hmm. to build the burger. So first I need the bun. Now, first burger bun. <coughs> the cheese. I mean, I'm not hopeful, I'm not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> They're so big. Oh, I failed. It's not gonna look like one. It looks more like a restaurant burger. microwave for 15 seconds so I'm gonna go do that so this is how it looks it does not look anything like a McDonald's I'm not gonna lie it does look good right so let's try a chip first I feel like I should have put the brine on them for a bit longer I think, am I calling it the right thing well, I think I should have put that liquid on it for a bit longer like I can see where it's coming from I don't know, it's not quite right. And I wish I had the barbecue sauce to have with it because that would just draw it all together. Maybe it's because I didn't fry them. Maybe next time I'll try frying them. Um, let's get the important bit now. This tastes amazing. But it doesn't taste like my McDonald's burger. I think it's because I made the patties too thick, which is so annoying. But like, I do see it like, no. It definitely does taste like a McDonald's, but there's a few things which I know that I will change for next time to make it taste even more like McDonald's. But look at that. I'm quite proud of myself. So yeah, that concludes the video. I made my McDonald's. I would rate it. Okay, we're going to give it a rate. Because I might do like Nando's or something next if you guys want to see that. But I would rate it. Like, it tastes 8 or 9 out of 10. But the actual like similarity to McDonald's, I'd give it a 7. I know what to improve on for next time. So I recommend leaving it in the brine for a bit longer and put baking powder in because maybe that made a difference. And also with the burgers, make sure they're thin because 
a thick burger is not going to taste McDonald's because they have like the tiniest, tiny little bums. If you did enjoy watching me make this McDonald's, then be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more cooking videos and you have like things that you want me to try and cook, seeing as I'm awful at cooking, then comment them down below. Feel free to comment down below what your McDonald's order is and what you would attempt to make if you were to. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. I'm gonna eat you all